Lots of goals, lots of overtakes on the track, lots of tries scored, lots of pints consumed, and lots and lots of people involved in Westy TV content this year. Welcome to the Westy TV Awards 2023. This is the sort of award show, the end of year roundup, where we hand the votes to you guys. We give you guys, the viewers, all the voting power in the world. We give you the nominees and you vote for them. And uh, so this year we've got, I think it's 15 awards to go through and we've also got some special awards to give out as well that are a bit fun and weird that we couldn't really get you guys to vote on but we want to thank everybody this year who has voted we had about 41 of you vote it was a bit less than last year but we are really really happy that you guys took the time to submit your votes for this year's westy tv awards so let's get started so starting off with music artist of the year now, music artist of the year is always hotly contested I can't remember who won last I actually can't remember who won any of them last year. It's been that wild of a year. I actually can't remember who's won any of them, to be fair. But Music Artist of the Year. This year we had Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, Metro Boomin, SZA, I think that's how you pronounce it. Someone's going to rinse me in the comments probably now, but feel free. Um, Bad Bunny, as well, rounds out the top six music artists in our nominees list this year. Music Artist of the Year, then, the awards. Uh, top three in joint second place SZA with 20% alongside The Weeknd with also 20% of the votes but Music Artist of the Year on the Western TV Awards 2023 this year is Taylor Swift now a lot of you I think love Taylor Swift so um, congratulations Taylor you probably won't get this congratulations but congratulations um, on your well worldwide eras, eras tour where it is like that I don't know how you pronounce it. Be honest, I'm just the guy who sits behind a desk at a bar and just serves drinks. It's great, good fun, good life. Anyway, moving on to content creator of the year. Now this is for the person who uh, kind of makes all the content. So there's loads of creators and loads of groups out there now on the internet who make content that beams into your homes, onto your mobile devices. Um, you couldn't pick us. We're quite happy about that. Um, so thank you. Um, but, free people or three content creators tied on second place um, and we couldn't really miss them all out for t so it's gonna be a top four for this one but Mr. Beast, Rufus Rice and Beta Squad all with 17.9% of your votes this year on the Westy TV Awards but the winner once again I do remember they won last year and they're winning again this year it is the Sidemen with 33% of your votes now this year in the box office it has been absolutely tight. We've had two major films releasing on the same day where people have been dressing up and exciting themselves over nuclear bombs and the colour pink. So this year who has truly won film of the year? This year the nominees include Barbie, Oppenheimer, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Super Mario Brothers movie, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 and Saltburn. I don't know how that made it in, I'll be honest. Um, mainly because I was in it, but it got no votes, Saltburn, so, um, yeah. Now on Amazon Prime, you might see me in the, um, behind the scenes. It, just have fun, have a look. Um, it'll be good fun. Anyway, so, joint second with 25% of your votes, Barbie and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse uh, are joint second place this year. But, who won the Battle of the Box Office, truly? Well, who else but Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer wins this year's Westy TV Film of the Year Award. Well, it's now time for Sporting Moment. Now, there's been loads of Sporting Moments this year. Unfortunately, Bucks New Uni lost Varsity to Roehampton, which is my also my dad's old alma mater, you know, university. I can't really say it. In the America, it's called alma mater. Anyway. But this year we had Bucks Men's Rugby 8-5 against Roehampton, that was an absolutely stellar win. Bucks FC 1's winning the league, Manchester City's treble, Kamil Jesniewski and De Giorgio Prince at Fight Night 2023. What a fight that was, going right to a majority draw. 
um, right after three rounds. Max Verstappen's third Formula One World Championship. Dominance, 19 out of 22 wins. Spain's FIFA Women's World Cup win after their 1-0 win against England in the final. Anyway, sporting moment of the year this year. Bucks FC 1's winning the league wins the award with 37.5% of your votes. But Manchester City's treble comes out in second with 22.5%. And Max, Verstappen, Max Verstappen's third world title comes out with 17.5%. Sports Personality of the Year, there's been loads of different sporting people this year who have really made the difference on and off the pitch and there's been so many people here who deserve of this award. Well, our nominees this year, Ethan Hutchison, Bucks FC's newest chairman who took over from me this year, he's done an absolutely stellar job so far. Fraser Gardner, stalwart at centre back for multiple Bucks FC generations, finally hung up his boots, or so we think this year. And Owen Trickshot Taylor, winner with Malmo FF in the FPC Champions League. Erling Haaland, Manchester City's star player this season, and he's been absolutely stellar winning the Golden Boot in the Premier League and many other competitions as well, and key in their Manchester City's treble winning side. Lionel Messi, a World Cup winner with a Miami move on his, on his agenda this year, been absolutely incredible so far. Anyway, Max Verstappen, 19 out of 23 wins in the Formula 1 season. Of course, Imola was cancelled, so it technically is 22, but anyway. And Atiana Bonmati, a key player in FC Barcelona's UEFA Women's Champions League win, as well as Spain's FIFA Women's World Cup win. And Mary Earps, named best goalkeeper at the Women's World Cup this year, and key in fighting change, as it was also named BBC Sports Personality of the Year, just recently. Sports Personality of the Year this year, Fraser Garden and Erling Haaland, 14.6% of your votes. And we also have, in second place, Owen Trickshot Taylor with 19.5% of your votes. But Sports Personality of the Year for Wesley on the Wesley TV Awards 2023 this year is Ethan Hutchison with 29.3% of your votes. Westy TV video of the year then this year. This is the Westy TV video you like the most. Now we didn't really upload a lot this year, I'll be brutally honest. Um, something called university and a full-time job called, and I couldn't really get as much content out as I'd like to. But you guys still love the content this year, and we were really, really appreciative. Every comment and every little um, tidbit you guys gave us and what you wanted to see. Um, we will be back in 2024 with a lot more. But Video of the year this year, in third place was the FPC Champions League Final 2023 with 15% of your vote. With 25% of your vote in second place, FPC, the one last event live stream, got second place. But in first place, Bucks FC 3s versus Bucks FC 4s with 52.5% of your votes. The highlights video from that is your video of the year for the Western TV Awards 2023. Internet moment of the year. Now you guys, um, there weren't a lot of significant in internet moments in my opinion this year um, that were good and were actually quite funny. But um, we had the Chinese spy balloon, which was absolutely hilarious to see America just crumbling over a bloody balloon. Um, Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter, now called X, we prefer to call it Twitter, we still do. Uh, the Westy TV bucket hat, which is still on sale in my uh, Streamlab store if you want to go have a look. Donald Trump mugshot, the first US president to ever receive one, and Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage uh, making their own kind of music. But the internet moment of the year this year, in third place the takeover of Twitter with 15.4% of your votes, the Donald Trump mugshot with 20.5% of your votes, but then also we had the Wesley TV bucket hat which you all thought was really funny uh, 41 point, uh, 41% of your votes this year. It's not even that funny, I'll be brutally honest, but if you enjoyed it so much, you can go to my Streamlab store and you can get one yourself so you can continue the meme and continue the joke, I guess. Anyway, event of the year, Westy TV event of the year. We had four events this year that have been absolutely standout in the world of sport and events generally as well but boxing fight night 2023 on your nominations uh champions league final fp or the fpc champions league final 2023 sorry the formula one las vegas grand prix their first of their kind over in las vegas nevada and the fifa women's world cup 2023 also on the nominees list 
but event of the year this year. Fight Night 2023 winning with 52.5% of your votes. The FBC Champions League final with 30%. The FIFA Women's World Cup with 15%. But congratulations to Fight Night and the Walker Boxing Society. I'll be there in 2024, hopefully. Anyways, team of the year, Bucks FC ones. Bucks Netball ones, Spain's national women's football team, Malmo FF in the FBC Champions League, and Manchester City were your team of the year nominees. It's been quite an incredible year for teams and how they've been. Um, special mention though to Bucks Netball ones are winning uh, being News team of the year this year, and uh, they deserve a place on the nominees list. But, team of the year for the Westy TV Awards 2023. Malmo FF in third, 12.5%. Manchester City, 27.5%. But Team of the Year for the Westy TV Awards 2023. Bucks FC Ones with 45% of your votes. Congratulations to the Ones once again. Now, Guest of the Year. Now, Guest of the Year has always been dominated by Owen Taylor. His funny quips and his funny lines on uh, the FBC Champions League final videos have always been a standout in Westy TV's coverage in recent years. Your nominees for this year for the Westy TV Guest of the Year Francois Collou, Andrew Matic, Owen Taylor, Kai Howell and Bucks FC also all on your Guest of the Year list. But this year's Guest of the Year in joint second place Kai Howell and Owen Taylor with 15.8% of your votes. Owen does not win it the fourth year on the trot. But in first place, Bucks FC, once again, 50% of your votes, over half of you, 19 of you in total voted for Bucks FC being guest of the year. I'm guessing it's because of that highlights video. But anyway, now the, the awards that we didn't release in the nominations um, post, because we didn't really want you guys to think that this was about um, people's sausages. Um, but anyway, this is the Golden Cock Award. This is the stupidest thing that someone has done this year um, and something that has been um, considered quite stupid. Um, so basically, the nominees this year, David De Gea being a free agent after being the Premier League Golden Glove winner, uh, Mikel Arteta and Arsenal bottling the league title, Michael Simpson and Jake Ambridge Wood for Photogate, and uh, I'm in there, losing a boxing match against a superior opponent. I kind of signed myself up for that one, didn't I? Uh, Bucks FC 4 is not winning a single game throughout 2023. The Conservative Party, the UK government, Colleen Ballinger with the ukulele apology video, Luis Rubiales with the Rubiales affair, Donald Trump, the first President of the United States to receive a mugshot, and the Premier League multiple video assistant referee errors, and the designers of the Ocean Gate submarine. Um, so exploding onto the scene is the Westy TV Golden Cock Award. In third place then, Arsenal bottling the league, uh, third, pla third place, I didn't say first place, third place, Arsenal bottling the league is 12.5% of your vote. Uh, in second place, Michael Simpson and Jake Ambridge would with Photogate with 22.5% of the votes and Bucks FC 4s not winning a single bloody game this year in 2023, 25% of the votes. To be fair, the closest they came was a 1-0 loss this side of the academic year. So, um, best result ever. Congratulations, boys. Anyways, now it's time for goal of the year. Now, we tent this to the Westy TV technical panel, um, which is in my basement, and we asked them, we gave them eight of these following clips to watch and say which one's the best. So, without further ado, here are the Goal of the Year nominees. Till, trying to find space on the edge. Here's Smans. Smans hits one. Oh my word! Levi Smans opens his account for PSV. Clear to the right hand side. He's blading! Oh, brilliant! Headed it away. Robin Moy gets in the way. Jordan Nobbs. Played into Lauren James. Here comes Lauren James. James shoots! Oh, wow! Wall out. 
down the far side. Back to inside, lovely from Westy. Westy can shoot, oh! Not bad at all! Here in Turkey, here's Dries Mertens. Dries Mertens hits one, oh my word! Here's Dorian. Tries to chip, oh brilliant! Here's Buero. Ball comes in. Silva! 1-1. One, one. All square. All level. And, well, this year's goal of the year goes to Dries Mertens for his goal against Galatasaray SK versus FC Copenhagen in the FB... Uh, not the FBC Champions League. In the Champions Planet Series just released last month. So congratulations Dries, you're probably not going to hear about this, but uh, congratulations. Now on to some awards which I've made up just for a bit of fun. Um, and you guys didn't get to vote on these because I was quite conscious of, um, well, about finding some extra ones for these. But comment of the year, um, we've had some absolutely incredible comments this year. I could probably read a few actually out to you. People just saying fake, how can this be? Not a real race, it is a video game. Honestly, I, I just I just think we've uh, we've absolutely outdone ourselves on comments this year. Um, but some of you have sent some nice nice comments and we're really really appreciative of that. Um, but the comment of the year goes to Philip Kradijan Cedar 7332 with waste of computer memory on the Las Vegas 2023 F1, well the F1 2023 Las Vegas race that we put up on Westy TV a couple of months ago. Um, but uh, thank you Philip, I'm sure um, we have also wasted your time, which has been absolutely fantastic to do. Um, but anyway, Motivational Speaker of the Year. Now, motivational speakers, they can bring people up out of the, out of the glum and out of the blues, but uh, Motivational Speaker of the Year goes to Dan Bennett for his incredible TikToks in um, telling men how to get 8.5s and 10s in different locations of the world and giving us location guides. But he is the man of the hour. Here he is. Spirited Performance Award. Now there's never any shame in giving up, ever on the sporting pitch, never in any aspect of life. Um, but the Spirited Performance Award this year goes to a team who actually never gave up on the pitch, even at the darkest hour where things seemed quite bleak. Bucks Men's Rugby, you have won the Spirited Performance Award in the 2023 Western TV Awards. Thank you very much for still giving us some hope of winning Varsity. We're sorry um, that, well, I'm personally sorry that we couldn't win another game um, in the football, and that would have won us Varsity. But um, thank you to you boys for giving us something to cheer about uh, at Varsity this year. It's been well, it was good fun to watch. Now, the Stacking It On Camera Award. Um, now, this goes to the greatest trip and the greatest fall. But it goes all the way back to March when we did a live stream of um, the, uh, the, I think it was the, um, the Futsalathon. That was it, the Futsalathon. But the Stacking It On Camera Award this year... an absolute nightmare to play against, I must say, and I'm thankful I've done it to play against him every week. But I think he's a player that he's really humble, he's a really nice person, um, and that's without talking about his talent on the field. Uh, every time you turn the TV on, he scores sort of two goals standard. Salola scores! Uh, 
and the last of these um, awards, Filthiest Nutmeg. Um, it goes to me for this absolutely um, incredible nutmeg on Fraser Garden. I mean, chairman to chairman, that is pretty funny. But anyway, the last award of the evening is the People's Award. Um, now, the People's Award this year, it's been some, it had some interesting ones. We were quite, um, we were quite pleased with how uh, how many people responded with this one. So you want to basically this award is giving someone an award, um, naming it, and um, who you're giving it to, and giving a reason why. So um, first of all, and well, straight out of the bat and straight out of the doors, um, the biggest asshole award goes to Jocko. Um, I don't know what you've done, Jocko, but congratulations. Um, biggest milf hunter goes to Daniel Danza Baker. Um, congratulations, Daniel. I mean, I hope you had a good night. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know. I mean, oh wait, hang on, it's clicked. Yeah, it's clicked. He, yeah, definitely North Hunter. Anyway, um, the James Milner Award goes to Trickshot for his longevity, inability, and FBC upkeep. That's that's deserved. James Milner, though, that's quite impressive. Um, Mr. KO, he is just the goat. The goat, he is the goat. Now, the next one is Bucks Women's Hockey. Now, I had to make a special mention to Bucks Women's Hockey because they actually were named Club of the Year this year at Bucks New Uni. But they have mentioned forgetting a varsity point and still being in the cup and actually winning games. Very fair, Bucks Women's Hockey, but congratulations on Club of the Year this year. Um, you definitely were. You guys definitely were the best club, I'm not gonna lie. 100% the best club, better than Bucks FC um, across the board. But congratulations to you guys. 100% the Bucks Women's Hockey getting. I don't know what the award's called, but um, yeah, congratulations, guys. It's, yeah, good. Um, Gary, I have got a story about. Oh my God, I'm a Darth Vader. Um, but Gary, I have got a story about Gary. This man dressed up as Jesus. Um, the Jesus Christ this year on All Daya and he was going around town and he was saying um, Jesus Christ is born uh, with arms open wide but Gary deserves this award he's he's been a the Gary award because he's just because he's Gary um, loose ah oh, I can't do that one um, yeah I'm, I'm gonna leave that one out um, I don't know award for I don't know. Congratulations, I don't know either. Um, Faker, the esports goat. No, oh, I just lost my page. Faker, the esports goat, apparently. Winning Worlds 2023 and reclaiming his crown. Well, congratulations, Faker. You're probably not going to hear from this either, but congratulations. But that is it for the Westy TV Awards 2023. Before I lose my voice, I will do my outro. Um, right, unfortunately I did lose my voice ever so slightly um, back then, uh, but I just wanted to say, a, uh, keep it short and just say a huge, huge thank you to everyone um, who's come and supported the channel this year. It's been an absolutely incredible journey, an incredible ride, um, and I'm really, really proud um, to still be doing this. I didn't think I would be 12 months ago, um, and you know, I think Westy TV has come a long, long way. Uh, since when we started the pandemic and when we started all these uh, various things and we're going to be coming up on four years um, in literally a week's time it will be the 10th anniversary of when I started my first YouTube channel um, so I don't know what I'm going to do I'll be brutally honest I don't know what I'm going to do um, I will think of something uh, but I just want to say a huge huge thank you to you guys the viewers because you've made this channel you voted on the awards this year and it has been an absolute pleasure. I've absolutely loved doing this content. Um, content for next year will be changing up a bit. I I'm going to be doing more Formula One stuff, I think. Um, and I'm also going to be doing the remainder of Champions Planet up until May. I think we can get that done and I think I can sort it all out now. Um, because it has been plagued with issues, unfortunately, that series. But that being said, I have been absolutely privileged and absolutely... Um, 
super happy this year. It's been a really good 2023. I've been really fortunate to be able to present Fight Night again. I've been really, really fortunate to um, be recognised through my work with Bucks FC. Um, back with Fight Night, sorry. I'm going to try and get the video um, together for that. I know we are like six, seven months on now. Maybe I think it's eight now, actually, sorry. Um, but um, I will try and get that video because I think... Um, you know, Connor and everyone this year needs all your support to come along, uh, go along to the event. And um, I'll, when it comes out, I'll share it on social media and all the all the dates and all the details. So you guys can get tickets and you guys can go down and support the event um, because it is a really good laugh, um, even if you do get knocked out on the uh, on the on the night. But um, a huge, huge thank you to everybody. I've it's been a pleasure. It's been a privilege, um, and. I'll be back in 2024 commentating again, I'm hoping, um, but we will see uh, what will come of 2024. Um, but have, if you, you know, uh, Celebration New Year, have a fantastic time, stay safe um, and enjoy yourself. Um, but if you are having a quiet one, uh, hopefully you have a peaceful one. Um, but uh, thank you very much, it's been an absolute pleasure and uh, I will see you very very soon. Thank you for watching, see you next time and goodbye.